good morning folks um today is sorry if you can hear air blowing it's hot outside today it is may the 15th i decided to um share this journey with you guys that i'm going to be going on this is a get rid of my facial hair journey <laughs> all i know is one day i woke up and i had beard and mustache i don't know where that came from not even really beard just like the little chin hairs you can't really see it unless you get close up and they're like "Ooh, sis whiskers so it's just really annoying and i've gotten to the point where i'm 25 now i'm 25 whoa i'm not 25 what year am i stuck in i don't even know i'm 27 i'm almost 28 i'm 27 now and I'm tired. I'm just tired of getting it waxed, threaded, plucked. I decided I'm gonna get laser hair removal finally. I know I've been talking about getting it for a long time, but I've been scared. I'm finally to the point where I'm not scared anymore. And I think I found a good place that I can get it done at. This place is La Piel, La Piel Laser Center. This is the place that I'm going to to have my first consultation. Um, I have a appointment in about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to vlog my experience hopefully the experience goes well enough to where i can get more laser hair removal done in the future on my body because you guys know i get a thousand things waxed and i'm tired of doing that as well i want to be able to just rest and know that my body is ready okay so consultation over it wasn't really that bad I and mean, you didn't do anything but talk really um they just got some information from me about my body hair and um how i've been removing it and the hair growth patterns and all of that um they took a look at my skin just to see um what the hair looks like next time i go in i'm gonna have them record i didn't do that too much today because i was filling out a lot of paperwork and stuff and they were kind of just giving me the rundown of how it's gonna work next time i come in it will be for the actual treatment. So I'll be recording the treatment. They're both really sweet. Um, the owner and receptionist, social media marketing manager, um, super sweet people. Um, I actually really love them. We had a great conversation about uh, menstrual cups and stuff. So yeah. My main concern was really just that I wanna make sure that the place is reputable and that they have the right laser for my skin type because I am a dark skinned gal. I need the dark skin laser. They have that here. I forget the name of it. It starts with a Y. It's the ad laser, something like that. Um, but you guys have probably heard of it. If you do get laser hair removal, you probably know what I'm referring to. I know that this is gonna be life changing for me because I'm really tired of having to get this crap done to my face, okay? I'm thinking my, my plan of action will be face, underarms, you know, and then my lower back, Brazilian, my, cause everything, I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of getting everything waxed. And I know one of these days, I'm gonna have to switch wax ladies again because my waxer is going on to do bigger, bigger, bigger and better things. Every waxer that I've had in the past has been amazing. They're always so amazing that they end up starting their own practice, which is great. But because I get like packages and everything with European Wax Center, like I've just st stuck with them. I'm tired. I don't want to, I honestly don't want to get waxed anymore. I kind of just want to get rid of all this hair and just be done with it. So I can invest this money that I've been spending into something else. Because I spend a lot of money on waxing every year. That is why I'm doing this. I'm just fed up. Next week I'll actually be doing a little bit more of a vlog. Um because i'll probably include this update but i do plan on recording me working out at on your mark next week because be working out at nike on monday and then i will be getting my nails done on monday and then i'll also be coming back here after i get my nails done so yeah it'll be like a self-care day so that's it i'll talk to you guys in the next update which should be coming up soon so we're here at on your mark look at the doggies Our workout started. Um, we are, I don't know what we're doing today, but I'll show you guys what we're up to. And um, this is everything in my locker. They gave me some new shoes, some tights, some tops. So it's lit.
I'm going to get my nails done. So I'm taking y'all with me since y'all always ask to see my nails. So here we go. This is Tuyan. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should have told me. but it's okay. <laughs> I look busted too, it's okay. <laughs> How's that thing? Good? Um, I want to, yeah, well. You want to change the shape? I want it to be more round. Okay, that's all I want. So I think that'll take it. Take it down. That'll down. take it down, yeah. So, I can't decide. They're all so different, so it's like. They are always different. <laughs> I have like so many, like my, I just start saving stuff and then I'm like, okay, then now. What am I about to do? So I've been wanting flames for like ever. Okay. So I, I have flames in here. Here. Um, I like those colors. Cause I don't want blue. I like something like that because it shows your clear different. tips. You see that? Like you yeah. know, cause you get the you have the clear tips. Right. And then I was like, oh, I kind of want to do the jelly thing too. But then I have all summer to do that. Right. So. Y'all know what a fill look like. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to record the whole field part? I guess. I it's know. okay. It's therapeutic for them. Right. So, that's explaining on how we do this, okay? Because people will be wondering how I come up with my designs. It's a process, okay? <laughs> so I have- All day. It's all day. <laughs> I never know what I want when I come in. I have all these, look at this, nail spots. I have a whole folder in my Instagram and I just save stuff for my explore page that I like. Nothing and then, the same. nothing is the same. Nothing looks the same <laughs> at all. They all look totally different. And then we just decide what we gonna do from there. Tuyan has to help me out because you know I'm indecisive. <laughs> Up, <laughs> this, this, all, this is not our playlist. <laughs> So I'm at La Piel Laser Center, about to get my face buzzed away. Please. This is fine. Okay. This works perfect. Okay. Um, so I am here. I just took some before and after shots, and then we're gonna get started. So we're just doing all this today. I'm gonna give you guys a little view. So I had to shave and like trim the area just so that the hairs aren't too long, but that's what we're looking like. Oh, wait focus that's that's it all right and we're going in and your lip lip one oh, sorry lip now tell me how much of your chin so just the part where you can see the dark hairs in your mouth and so and then, and then a little bit here. on your neck too okay all right perfect and right now you've been shaving or waxing or a combination of waxing and burning okay and when was the last time you did any type of hair control? um last month last month okay um, so I've just trimmed it down. Mm -hmm. and when did you trim? Uh, this morning. This morning, okay. All right, so I'm gonna have you lay back. We'll start off by charting the area, then I'll have you take a look at it. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do 
Do I need to clean or anything? Yeah, we'll clean you. Okay, yeah. All right. Do you have on any makeup? No. So I'm home. Um, I just I took a nap for like two hours when I got home because I've just been really tired. I've been ripping and running all day. Um, I left the home this morning at 6 a.m. to get to Chicago on time to be at my uh, workout training. So um, I don't know. I've just been really like liking to be on time to things these days so now i give myself ample time when i'm going somewhere especially when it's far i try to i try to anyway um just to make sure that i'm not rushing i take my time so that i don't get myself in trouble by being late or forgetting to do something like <laughs> pay for parking <laughs> so yeah i really just quickly wanted to give you guys the rundown of the war the rundown of the entire process of the consultation before I actually set up my appointment and everything like that because that's the only thing I didn't show y'all. If you guys want me to, I can always sit down with the women at the laser treatment center to give you guys, you know, their professional explanation of everything just so I'm not messing nothing up. I'm going off of memory, but I hope that you guys 
understand everything that I'm saying, okay? Laser hair removal is not like super invasive treatment. Like uh, obviously it's not. It's not like a surgery or anything like that. It's very simple process. You know, laser hair removal, Botox, all that kind of stuff. That stuff is really not invasive. Um, you don't need like a doctor's permission to do it. You kind of just can go do it. Prior to looking at this, you guys know I had been threading and waxing. They asked me that um, and when was the last time I did it. Um, so I have been threading and waxing every three weeks or so because there's always an HD camera in my face. It's very important for me to have a smooth canvas. Just as far as hair goes, I've already gotten rid of most of my acne. I don't really get acne anymore. So now I'm just getting rid of the hair because it, that's another stressor of mine. Um, I also have a husband who is very, very, very observant. I know some of y'all are probably like, well, why does it bother him? It's on your face. Our faces touch. You know, he sees me up close all the time, so he's like, bro, you have chin hair. Like, if I were a man and I had a woman, I'd probably be kind of freaked out if she had chin hair too. It's completely normal for women to have chin hair. You know, I, I do what I can to get rid of it because it is a nuisance. It's kind of annoying. It's not just that I don't like the way it looks. It's actually irritating. If I try to remove it, it gives me dark spots and things like that. So it would just be easier if I got rid of it altogether. I started looking at doing it in December of last year because I knew that I wanted to do 2019 right and I wanted to get rid of this hair. Prior to this I had been very scared of lasers. I had been very very scared of getting this treatment done. I know in a waxing video that I made a long time ago I said I'm scared of lasers. So I started looking at the process in December. I googled some treatment centers in the area because I actually have been approached by a couple laser companies in different cities. Just googled the top places to go to, the ones that had the best ratings, the ones who had the best reviews and Lapiel, Lapiel was the one that popped up first and very wonderful reviews. Um, it is in the city so it's a little dry for me but because it is in the city, I feel like they have more resources. I looked at the reviews and there were a lot of black women in the reviews, which is what I was looking for because as you may or may not know, melanin does affect the way that the laser is going to penetrate your skin um, and if it's actually gonna work. And I've seen in the past, long time ago, I've seen women who've been scarred and stuff by lasers because they weren't really meant for our skin type. So I wanted to make sure that I went to a place that had a diversity of um, client and a diversity of people of women who work there um, the nurse practitioner that you guys saw me with today who was doing my actual um, laser treatment was black herself so that was amazing you know not that I shouldn't be comfortable around people who are not of color but when it's my skin I am very particular about that because we want to make sure that we are being treated you know effectively our, our skin is different that's just how it is and lapiel knows this and that's why i am appreciative of them when i had my consultation she sat me down i did i filled out paperwork or whatever do i have any health issues any treatments that i've done in the past blah 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 you know the normal like medical type stuff it did ask me what type of skin i had so it was very thorough which is what i appreciated basically just gave me the rundown on how the day was gonna go my sessions so she was saying that, you know, 48 hours before, make sure I don't use any retinoid, no retinol, no AHA, BHA, you know, the stuff that I use on my face that pulls off the first layer of my skin. Make sure I clean my face of makeup as thoroughly as possible because that will also cause effects um, if, it, if it's not removed properly. She was saying that the, the laser that they use is called the YAG laser, which is a laser that is suitable for type four and type five skin tones, which is, dark-skinned women so I was relieved about that she said rest assured I have lots of dark-skinned women who come in and they are very very happy with their results she said in rare rare cases there is a side effect of darkening hyperpigmentation and things of that sort but she said it rarely happens and it only happens when the, the makeup isn't removed properly or something else was interfering with the laser. So if there's no interference with the laser, it should work perfectly fine. And she said almost all of her clients have had a good experience with that because they did it properly, right? Um, she asked me if I had any questions. I didn't have any questions, any other questions, just my skincare. I just wanted to know what to do about that because I do have skincare that I use and I do use like heavy duty skincare, uh, you guys know this. If I ever do a skincare video or something and you guys notice that I don't use it in this area, that is why. Um, I just don't want to make, I want to make sure that I don't have any problems with it. She said six to eight treatments once a month, um, so about every three to four weeks. So my next treatment will be in June. And depending on how my hair goes back after those six to eight treatments, if there is still hair there, I would need to go back for another treatment. But after that, I can start spacing my treatments out very far. So they would be like once every six months or once every year, depending on how 
the hair goes back. It shouldn't grow back the way that it was growing back in. Um, it should just be like maybe one hair pops out and I need to go get another treatment. But that's it. For those who were telling me that, oh, it's not permanent, you're gonna have to keep going back. It isn't 100% permanent, no. It gets rid of the, you know, original mess that's there, but you do still have to go back for touch-ups. But however, huh, a lot of treatments that people get are not permanent. Botox, not permanent. Microblading, not permanent. It is what it is. I'm not super, super upset about it. Anything is better than going to get threaded and waxed every two, three weeks. I showed you guys the actual whole process of the actual laser treatment. It really wasn't bad. I have a high pain tolerance though. So all of this, it just felt like heat. The laser zap was more of like a, and I, ooh, takes like a second for it to warm up and get hot. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's really not a bad pain. It's actually very manageable. It zaps the follicle and then the hair follicle will, you know, release the hair and the hair will fall out over time. So it takes a couple days for all the hair to come out. So as my hair falls out and stuff, I'll let you guys know my progress. For those of you who are wondering how much it costs, I believe it was 300 something for the first three sessions. I wanted this to be as genuine as possible so i am paying for this service um so my first three sessions already paid for i paid for them already if you guys have any questions like i said please let me know i can always sit down with the doctors and talk to them on camera about it um i didn't really get their permission to do that uh yet so if you guys want me to do that i can but for the most part with anything you guys do your own research and i'm sure you'll find the answers that you're looking for that's it i wanted to share that with you guys hope that you guys enjoyed this first little go around and I will see you guys next month give you guys the updates as they come <laughs>